New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell has requested a new rule when it comes to recalling elected officials and officers in the city of New Bedford. Last night, the city council took up the discussion, laying out the process and how it could look going forward. So Joe Cortez is live in New Bedford this morning with the details and reaction from the city council. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Kate and Patrick. In order to initiate a recall for a citywide office like a mayor or city councilor at large, 600 signatures would be required. 100 of those signatures would have to come from each of the city's six wards, and for a ward councilor, 100 signatures would be needed. Now, once that happens, those signatures will be sent over to an election commission within a certain time frame. The commission would determine if signatures are legitimate. Now, once that's done, the elected official would have five days to resign. If they choose not not to, the city council would move the petition forward and an election would be held. Now, if the recall occurs, that official cannot serve again for two years in their previous position. If the recall fails, a new petition cannot be brought against that person for a certain period of time. And an elected official is not subject to a recall in the first six months of their term. Now, during the council comment session last night, some councilors were not in favor of the petition as it stands. Getting 600 signatures to begin a petition for me or a hundred for my colleagues who are then going to have to look over their shoulder for the next four or five months because 100 people didn't like some comment they made. Uh, that, that's absolutely, it, the numbers are way too low, way too low. Now, one other counselor did bring up the process of a special election and the cost it could impose. That's about $80,000 for a citywide election and $30,000 for each ward. Now, this item was tabled as a call for an amendment did happen. We'll keep you updated as we learn more throughout the next couple of weeks. For now, reporting live in New Bedford, Joe Cortez, 12 News.